hold it right there. Are they gone? I don't hear anything. If you're referring to the giants, I took care of them. They're dead? Yep. Thoroughly expired. They were no match for us. There's an older couple back there that could use some help, though. Well, that must have been Oneida and her husband, Gian. Thank you. I we'll send help right away. So you're saying you just happened to show up at the right time, huh? I suppose. Interesting coincidence. If you're suggesting I had something to do with this attack... Whoa, whoa, take it easy. I, I have to apologize for my big friend Calum here. We're just a little overwhelmed is all. What's been happening here? I guess you missed the endless hordes of bloodthirsty monsters on your way in? They used to stay in the mountains, away from the village. Now, they're attacking us on a daily basis. No one's been hurt yet, uh, at least not until today. If giants are showing up near Oneida's farm, things are far worse than we thought. Speaking of which, where exactly do you come from? There's nothing west of here except crazy old Korra. We're, uh... Prospectors! We are prospectors! And we're out on an excavation to find, uh, ore deposits in the mountains. You know, gold, silver, um, manganite? Prospectors, eh? <laughs> You're certainly well armed for the job. Like you said, there are a lot of monsters out there. Well, we're indebted to you either way, so go on through. But I'm watching the two of you. Please, make yourselves at home. Uh, my name is B. There's not much here, but we do have a merchant if you need supplies. Thank you. We'll be on our way then. Prospectors, Fidgets? That was the best thing you could come up with? It was the first thing that popped into my head. It's not like you had anything better. Come on, let's get away from these guards. All right, Tara. Where to now? You're right where you need to be. The answers to your identity lie somewhere in this village. I know this place, and that's for certain. I'm sure I've been here before, but nobody seems to recognize me. And you, in turn, do not recognize them. Yet I feel there is something here that may yet trigger your memory's return. Maybe we should look around for a bit then? If you really have been here before, maybe somebody will recognize you. That is a good idea, Fidget. Let us meet with the townspeople. I am certain that the next step of your journey will reveal itself in time. Very well. But something... something here is making me uneasy. Like the calm before a storm. Why, hello there! I'm always thrilled to see a new face! Even when it's all covered up like yours. Indeed. Well, my name is Dust, and this is Fidget. Hiya! Don't mind Mr. Grumpy. He's not big on the whole eye contact thing. Fidget and Dust, eh? Not from around here, are you? Well, neither was I originally. But this is a nice little place, if you're not in a hurry. Oh, where are my manners? I'm Afgustin, local strongman. Say, you want to arm wrestle? Uh, some other time, perhaps. We're just passing through. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Thought you looked like the arm wrestling type. You know, I heard what you did back there for Oneida. Great stuff. Maybe we can help each other out? Maybe. What did you have in mind? I have an old friend, a blacksmith. Lives way up at the top of Archer's Pass. I promised I'd deliver some materials to him way back when, but haven't been up that way in ages. Area's pretty dangerous these days, if you ask me. Maybe you could deliver them for me? Tell you what, if you help me out, I'll give you this blueprint. 
If you give it to him along with these spare materials, he'll set you on your way right quick. A blacksmith that can craft items from blueprints? I think I'll take you up on that, Augustine. Wow, that's great! I knew I could count on you! When you see him, just tell him that old Augustine says hello. Jess? Uh, good morning? Hmm, is it though? I, well, I guess? He guesses, wonderful. Well, perhaps you can guess that I really don't want to talk such drivel right now. Go, scurry off and leave me be. Hello, I don't believe I've seen you before. We just came in from the West. Ah, oh, so you're the one everyone is talking about. Everyone's talking? Of course! You're the one who saved Oneida! Uh, my name is Mosca, and I am at your service. If you need anything, just let me know. Say, are you, uh, are you staying long? I don't know. Why do you ask? Well, if you ever find yourself heading east of the village, maybe you could let me know if the roads are safe? Oh, they're far from safe. The town guards mentioned that monsters have been attacking all sides of the village. You're better off staying inside the walls for now. Well, see, here's my problem. I I've been meaning to visit someone in Denham. It's a small village on the edge of Abadi's forest. I imagine this someone is pretty important to you? Well, yeah. See, it's about a girl. Well, surely she's worth the danger. Oh, she is! She definitely is. I just... I, I want to make sure she's okay. With all these monsters around, there's been no word from Denim at all. Mosca, if my travels take me there, I'll let her know you're thinking about her. Oh, thank you so much! You're great! You're really, really great! you listen do you hear it can you hear its whispers locked within within the box my box I don't hear anything well of course you don't my box has been lost somebody must have stolen it perhaps it was that Mosca fellow he's always averting his gaze from me like he's hiding something probably his distaste for your nuttiness I can hear its whispers coming from below. Down, deep down in the earth. If you're ever down there, please, you must find my box. Return it at once. And whatever you do, do not open the box. Okay, Reed. If I find your box underground, I'll be sure to bring it back.
hello. Ah. Uh... You're a quiet one. Dust, manners. You'll have to excuse him. He's a bit worn out, saving the village and everything, you know? Yes, I heard something about that. Ah, yes. Well, good. Honestly, it doesn't matter. They'll just keep coming back. I... And there's nothing we can do about it. Excuse me. She's a cheerful one, huh? A bit of gratitude might have been nice. What kind of a bratty... Hey, ease off, Dust. She looked like she was pretty depressed. I... I don't know why I said that. I'm sorry, Fidget. I... I don't know what came over me just then. Come on, let's keep moving. I didn't introduce myself before. My name is Dust, and my companion here is Fidget. Hello again. Dust? Really? Is something wrong? No, I I'm sorry. It's just an interesting name. I'm Ginger. Oh, and about those people you saved. Yes? Well, that was a noble thing to do. So thank you. Are you okay? Please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm not really in a talkative mood. You look sad. If... Please, you too. Don't. Are you okay? Please. Savior, I had hoped you'd come. Welcome to my humble shop. Honor us with your patronage. Please tell your friends, your rich ones. I'm Mayor Bram. So, you're the hero I've been hearing about. It's nothing, really. We're just passing through. No need to be modest, my friend. We can't thank you enough for your help. Things have been rough in Aurora of late, so having a true hero in our midst is really boosting morale. So, what's your name, son? Dust. My name is Dust. And some of the villagers I've met, they don't seem quite as pleased as you. Ah, are you talking about the Watchmen? You must understand, hardly a day goes by without some monstrosity attacking our peaceful village. They were simply being cautious. Take my word, I'm sure they meant no ill will. And there was also this girl. Yes, that could only be Ginger. Well, she can be a bit of a handful, but don't pass judgment on her like that. You have no idea what she's gone through this past year. She looked pretty upset about something. Don't concern yourself. We have other matters to discuss. What help could I possibly provide? A few giants in a field seem like the least of your problems. Yet again with the modesty. You're no mere travelers, that much I've gathered. Mineral merchants don't wield blades as impressive as yours, Dust. Please, we really could use the help. I don't know. I'm searching for something myself. Then perhaps we can help each other. If you help our village, I promise I'll do whatever I can to help you. 
but I can be of no assistance while our village is constantly attacked by these creatures. We suspect their leader is close by, and if you could... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on a second. You're saying those mindless thugs have a leader? Until recently, they would attack us in small groups. Nothing we couldn't handle. Now, they coordinate attacks on a much larger scale, hitting the village on both sides, driving our forces apart. I assure you, whatever leads these things is experienced in warfare. What do they want? Our land, I imagine. Just a casual observation, but they don't seem the farming type. Well, whatever it is, it's become a serious problem. If you truly are as capable as I hear... You want us to find their leader? It certainly would cripple their advance. You'd be doing the entire village a great service. How about it, Dust? Well, I... You feel a conflict of emotions. This is good. I will abide by your decision, Master. I trust you to take the right path. Helping this village is the right thing to do. But it's more than that. It's almost like... like I know these people. Like I have to help them. I think that strange feeling you've got is a little foreign concept called compassion. I'm proud of you, Dust. Of course, if you said no, I'd need to bite your face off. Charming as always, Fidget. I think you've made a wise decision. All right, Mayor Bram. You've convinced us. We'll do what we can to help stop these attacks. <laughs> That's my boy. The Watchmen reported increased monster activity to the east of our village, so I imagine that's where you should go. But do be careful. Strong as you may be, I've seen many fine warriors lose their lives to these monstrosities. I understand, Mayor. I'll be careful. And I'll be back. Hey! You're the outsider! Yeah, that's me. That's great! So you must know your way around out there. Maybe you could do me a favor. Depends on the favor. What is it you need? Well, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Fail, and I'm in charge of keeping our guards well equipped. Oh, so their poor equipment is pretty much your fault. <laughs> in so many words, yes. It's not like I enjoy giving them subpar equipment. If I had better materials, I could make better gear. Tell you what, if you could bring me five imp hides, I would gladly buy them off you for more than the shop will offer. I'll keep my eyes open. Much appreciated. I'll be waiting right here. That isn't you? Hey, I don't make that much noise. Wait, you're right. Look out! We've got company!
those deadly creatures. Keep your distance. They will detonate if you get too close, but are vulnerable when taking a deep breath. Perfect for a ranged attack. Let me at them. Hello again. Transaction is most appreciated. The materials you've sold me will be quite useful. I'll attempt to restock them as time goes on. I also share my stock with other merchants. With our help, you will save valuable time collecting rarer materials. Thank you. Watch your back, my friend.
the ones making all that noise up there. Uh, not intentionally. Uh, by the way, do you know you have bloms in the attic? <laughs> oh, those? They don't bother us. And they tend to keep the other monsters away. If I knew we were having company, I'd have cleared them out myself. Sorry about that, I guess. So, what brings you two this far outside Aurora? I'm assuming that's where you're from. I'm Dust, and this is my companion, Fidget. We're here to deliver these materials on Augustine's behalf. Oh, well, nice to meet ya. I'm Haley, and this is my brother, Maddie. Don't mind him. I see you've got a blueprint there. Mind if I take a look? Well, this doesn't look too hard. Tell you what, if you can find me the materials for it, I'll craft this item for ya. Haley. And, uh, just because I like you, I'll give you a blue resonance gem. Don't know if you caught it on your way up, but there's a big blue door at the foot of Archer's Pass that this'll open. Just inside the door is a teleporter that'll take you right up here. Makes return trips a lot easier. So you can come and visit anytime you like. I'll be honest, even with a shortcut at the foot of the pass, I'm not sure I'll be able to make it up here too often. Hmm, well... My dad did have these little receiver things he'd give to his regular customers to transport goods back and forth. Unfortunately, I don't have any of them to give you. Let me think. If I remember correctly, one of my dad's customers dropped one somewhere in Abadi's forest. If you were to find it, I could craft your items and send them to you through the receiver whenever you wanted. Dad normally gives his customers a blue resonance gem. So check for Blue Resonance Gates in Abadi's Forest. Need anything else? So, let's talk. Need anything else? Thanks, Dust. Don't be long coming back. That 
went incredibly well. Do you know why? I don't know, Fidget. Why? Oh, don't be so dense. Fidget, what are you talking about? You didn't see the signals? She was giving you the signals. That's great, Fidget. Really, I'll keep that in mind.